Welcome everyone to the Ghost 44 Search and Destroy Prime Tournament here provided by UMG Online. It's myself, Lando, in the UMG studio, guiding you guys through the tournament tonight. And boy, it should be an interesting one, of course, starting things off with teams known as Golden Blood, as well as Uncle Jack and Hugs from the side of Golden Blood, making some work happen, finding a nice snipe along with his teammates' other two. Is now going to leave equip in a one on three scenario. And with all three players also finding kills, did Twerk find that kill inside of red? Hold on, I need to see this again. How does he get this kill? Does he shoot through the wall? Cheeky. That's cheeky from Twerk. I was going to say, because he literally wasn't on the screen. That is why you have to fear this guy, Twerk. That's scary. But of course, like I said, guys, as a interesting round one does start us off, of course, have had a number of different teams competing in today's tournament. We're currently sitting in round five, AKA the round of 16. And of course, as we do move forward, every match, every series rather, best of threes. And you only need two total maps to close each one out. So both these teams making a pretty decent run up to this point, want to continue that. And if you are looking at a few of these rosters, as Equip gets a nice nade there on Torque to finally shut him down after a little bit of a spree of three kills. Uh, of course, from the side of Uncle Jack, you got guys known as Skies, Rambi. You've definitely heard of those guys in the past. You've also got uh, Courage himself. Good old Jack Dunlop, currently playing in the uh, Ghost Tournament. Always oh, awesome to see Jack. Very talented Search and Destroy player. Can kind of consider him as well as a caster. Uh, also an SD star in his own regard. I think he would uh, kind of respect that, uh, that title. Regardless, we'll see how his teammate Equip can do in this one on three spots. It's not going to be easy due to the positioning that the opposition has right now. Two, we're in bottom white, and actually that player just um, jumps down. Two currently just sitting outside of red on that A site. Player rushing forward. Equip does spawn him, but not the best trigger discipline in the world as formal. will make him pay, shutting him down. Of course, as we do speak along the lines of formal, we can obviously talk about the gold blood, aka golden blood for today. They're uh, adding a past tense to that uh, team name today. Uh, we do have Aquanic Hugs as well as Twerk joining Formal in this tournament. And uh, for those who obviously have been watching some of the UMG Online uh, tournaments here, of course, provided by UMG events on Twitch, or if you've just been uh, you know, following some of the tournaments that we have or play in these, uh, potentially, you obviously do know of the Gold Blood name. Of course, we've seen guys like Hugs in the past, of course, on teams like Project Evil, etc. And, uh, you know, Aquanic as well as Twerk, at least in the online world. And I think... Mostly everyone's heard of Formal. I think, I think it's fair to say. I think uh, Formal has definitely made his name known ever since, actually. Uh, Ghost was the original title. And uh, Rising becoming one of the, if not the best player in the entire world. So it's obviously fun to watch. And that's exactly why Formal hits an amazing snipe there. Player just casually peeks his head over those stairs. And Matthew Piper is ready and waiting. Currently, with that thermal out. Shots coming in, Aquanic shuts down Skies, and just like, looks like Aquanic gonna clean up everything by himself, doesn't even need Formal after that initial snipe. And it looks like nice little long shots here, as Aquanic finds an easy two. And now advancing the round count to three rounds to zero, so Uncle Jack just not having, I feel, I feel like I'm saying like only one person, like I'm calling out Courage specifically whenever I see the name Uncle Jack. Uncle Jack and Co. Yet to put a round on the board, but regardless, we will see what they can try and produce in the uh, latter rounds here of Freight. Looks like early stun, Nate out as well for Twerk. Not spotting anyone as of yet. Equip and Co. from the side of Uncle Jack, just kind of forcing some of the issue outside of Red. Looks like that ladder's already down Equip, don't have to worry about that. And one player from along that should be maybe, it looks like formal potentially back there. But actually no, it is Aquanic. But that Thermal Remington, decent line sight. So at least from the offensive team's point of view, you do have a little bit of an idea as to where those players are stationed at. You're not going to see a player in top three red every single round. So at least some information is gained. And here comes that push. Hugs trying to make the first one. It looks like uh, Quantic firing through as well. Twerk here just enters in and finds that nice entry, making sure that that was the player who was inside, hiding inside of red. And it absolutely was. Three dropping, and now it's all up, up to Rambi. Finds one, tries to find the second as well. The exact same time, Formal gets picked off. But it will be to work coming from the flank and will also find Rambi. So, 
Twerk continuing his dominance. Him and Formal currently leading not just their team as far as kills, but the entire lobby as well. Both with five kills apiece and now advancing themselves to four rounds to zero. If you guys aren't uh, familiar with Search and Destroy and how it works in Call of Duty, first to six rounds when it comes down to competitive. So only two more needed, and it's not very common that you do see a uh, hot 6-0 come out, but we'll see what comes of it. Going to stay on board with Rambi, going to stay on board with the team of Uncle Jack, see what they can try and do, because they've just had a, a number of different issues. That's incredibly relevant as three fall. Rambi yet again last alive. Already finding one in the round. It's going to need the other two just to secure at least one round in the game. Missed shots coming in from the, the player with the pistol as he will make hugs. Drop. Shots continuing yet again to come in from Twerk. Twerk doing a number of different things, firing through those walls. But in this case, it's not going to go his way. Rambi shutting that one down and finally getting a kill. Or getting a round, rather, on the board. So he's going to sit now at five... And four big round there from Rambi. I believe that was a hat trick in total kills. So three gained, and a round will come of it. We're actually take a look at uh, Jack Dunlop's point of view. Let's see what that uh, what Courage can try and provide. Entering inside the bottom red, might been to stay here. Might peek out a little bit, just trying to be aware of the potential push that come in, that could come in. And you got to be wary when it comes down to this guy to work. Fortunately for Courage. He's not looking that exact way, because it seems that Twerk literally has no issue shooting through walls whatsoever. As Skies gets made for the first blood, chasing 0 and 6, Courage pops out. <laughs> Twerk having no issues trying to shoot through red. It will currently be a three on three stun out, and here comes the push. It looks like kills trying to go down. Formal trying to make somewhat of an impact, barely alive at the moment. Twerk still firing through walls. Jack on the other side of it. Can Twerk shut him down is the question. Just rounds the corner and Jack will find off one on Twerk. One on two now for Formal. Remington in hand. It looks like Rambi will shut him off from the side. So back to back rounds now. Coming in from the side of Uncle Jack. As they try to rally together and get some momentum going. And I gotta say that push that Jack was making inside of Red. I, I, it's hard for me to call him Courage. I just never call him Courage. Regardless, Courage! His, uh, his kind of like hold inside of red definitely did a lot for the entire team, kind of halting Twerk's progress because Twerk was desperately trying to be that frontline man for the offensive push, and he, they just had a number of different issues, and of course it kind of came down at the end. Formal didn't really have a whole lot more to work with, but kind of that one hold in that specific part of the map really did a lot as far as the morale and as far as the overall defensive stand goes. And it looks like Courage still being aware of... That right side red. Looks like one player making their way underground. And that is going to be Hugs. Just checks around. Could open that door. That would definitely make the enemies very wary. Does exactly that. You see Rambi's very quickly wrapping back around. And at this point, Rambi could be thinking, maybe he's still in there. Maybe he actually pushed all the way through. Shoots a dead body. He's going to close that door just to be wary. And if you look at Hugs, he's still chilling down there. Just making sure that that player didn't push out after closing, out, closing that door down. So... Well, these players being wary of one another as kills begin to happen still. Courage, nice hip fire there as he shuts down Twerk. At the same time, Formal ends up dropping as you now have a two-on-two -two scenario. This would be big for Uncle Jack if they can secure this one. And Hugs, if he just checks toward his left, there's two players in the bomb right now. Rambi's getting that bomb down. And we'll see what the play is as Aquanic shuts down Rambi. Courage now. One on two. Actually, the bomb doesn't go down. The bomb didn't get planted in time. That was a huge kill that came in from Aquanic, and now Courage isn't going to have any time to either kill these players or get the bomb defuse. I thought the bomb was down, but no. That's a huge kill that comes in from Aquanic just in the nick of time. Shuts down Rambi, who was the bomb planter. And that obviously leaves Courage in an impossible situation. Literally one that he could not get out of. As now it will be five rounds to two. One more round needed for the side of Golden Blood. And they're going to already be up one map to zero. And Equip doing some damage, already shutting down Hugs from afar. We'll see what his current point of view is, just kind of peeking around. Looking at crates. He's going to spot another player, tags him, nearly drops him. As it looks at the same time, Rambi doing a number 
on the side of Golden Blood. Twerk now left in a one on four. And Ramby is leading the way right now. Ten and five. Right now, Skies looks like he has joined the agency. Nice again. 007. As Ramby is dropped, and just like that, Skies does come from the from around, so we can kind of clarify. Maybe it is, maybe it's not exactly. Regardless, he is able to get a kill on the board, which is very nice for his overall morale, his confidence. Granite Ramby does sacrifice his life, but it's a worthy exchange in the end, as a round will come of it. And this would be a miraculous comeback if the side of Uncle Jack could make this one be forced. But of course, a lot has to happen until we even begin to discuss that possibility. Equip is hype, as you can see. Maybe just the frame rate. Maybe he's just excited. Who knows? Ghost is fun. World War II is upon us. Equip still looking on. As we're going to swap over to a few players who are involved in that action. Twerk able to respond. Shuts down Ramby. As he will back up for good measure. One player just on the outside of red. I believe that is Courage. So kind of holding this right side angle over toward red. So just kind of being aware of such. Hugs as well. Watching for that push. As you see all three players right now from Uncle Jack. Being aware in skies. Had an angle. It's just a push that you can't wait long enough for. It looks like he tried to make that jump. It's going to cost him a little bit of time to maybe try to get some more control. As players start to get antsy, Equip comes from the corner, is able to finish off Twerk, who shuts down Jack. So an exchange that goes through two on two. Defensive team still in the forefront. Hugs holding a big angle, but he gets dropped. Hugs falls. Sky's beautiful play with that sniper. Now it's left up to Aquanic for the game. One on two. As that rotation coming in, spots the player just toward his right. And that was the bomb planter, so he's waiting for the second one to go. And if he can just pick this player off, he should be good to go. But no, he can't find him in time. The bomb doesn't go down. As he finds one, he should know exactly the angle this player's coming from. Yes, Aquanic will get the one on two. Very, very well played. Thankfully, he was able to spot that push going over toward the site and plays it very well. I thought he was going to be able to shut down the bomb planter before the bomb would go down. But no, even though he had the issue, didn't have the advantage when it came down to that one on two, just used great line sight. And intuition to find the ending to kills as Aquanic will seal the deal. Finishing off with just six and four. His teammate Torque at the top with 11 and seven. Ramby as well for the opposite side at 11 and seven as well. And that will now put the side of Golden Blood up one to zero. Film pretty good as that team. As we get ready to head into map number two, it will be Octane Search and Destroy. We'll be heading into that one after this quick commercial break. Welcome everyone back to the UMG Prime Ghost 4v4 Search and Destroy tournament. Myself, Landon Lano Sanders, guiding you guys through the action as we're currently sitting in a round of five, round of 16 match taking place between the side of Uncle Jack and Golden Blood. Golden Blood ended up taking map number one, six rounds to three on some freight search and destroy. And now we'll be focusing our attention toward some Octane. The snipers are out. They're ready to go. And kills are already starting to take place as the side of Golden Blood down, which is the opposite side. Uncle Jack's team currently down one man as kills start to happen. Nice kill there, actually found from four old spots. The other one as well, no Oracle needed. As it will now be a one-on-one -on -one spot. Hugs, thankfully, does have that bomb in his hand, so there is a positive for being on the offensive. And quick gunfight just around the corner, and Skies will be there with the nice pistol shot. So props to Skies as he will find the ace in round number one. The man who struggled to find it. kills, actually, really, in the uh, last map on Freight. Not sure if he ended up finishing off with more than one kill. My mind does uh, escape me currently, my memory. Uh, however, though... Definitely a lot better, I think it's fair to say, in that round, finding the ace and uh, doing some damage. Nice to see him obviously doing decent toward the start of this one. Of course, you've probably heard of a lot of these players as far as Search and Destroy Paralysis. You've heard of guys like Skies, you've heard of Ramby, you've heard of Equip as well. As Hugs, I'm not sure if he spotted that player or just got amazing timing, but that was incredibly close. And of course, you've heard of the uh, one of the best Disney stars of them all, Jack Dunlop. He's currently in our lobby. Of course, the team named Uncle Jack for a reason. Uncle Jack and his nephews trying to wield and bring this one back to a level playing field at 1-1. Still staying on board with my man Hugs. Trying to do some work with that sniper rifle right now as I take a nice little look, look at the map just for uh, my pleasure. That's accidental. And it looks like Ramby 
yet again going to be the spot where he has to do some damage. Of course, this is the guy who dropped a number of different pick kills last round as he gets completely sat there from Aquanic. But uh, Rambi was the major reason why we end up seeing the side of Uncle Jack get a number of different kills last side around on the last map. The uh, rounds that they got were definitely due in part due to Rambi's play. I think he ended up finding at least a hat trick in one of the rounds. I think he might have clutched a one on two or something along those lines, but still had some big moments. And uh, definitely if you think that him and Skies can try to combine for, you know, some rounds potentially, they can definitely do some damage. But we'll see if the star power can beat consistency that we've been seeing from the side of Golden Blood. It looks like snipes being exchanged here from Skies right now. Looking toward top strip as it looks like Hugs and Torque combining for two. Half the squad already down for the side of Uncle Jack. It looks like Sky is not going to spot anyone in top strip, at least for the moment. Quip spawning one from behind and immediately gets shut down there from Aquanic. That was instant. Great reaction time there from Aquanic. And it looks like Skies just narrowly hops out from that angle. Spots one through. Semi, but this is not going to be an easy clutch. Granted, he got an ace and around already. Not sure if it's the exact same scenario where you can do it again and no hugs is ready. Picks him off with the sniper of his own. The USRs are out to play. Great peek around hugs, the nice line sight gained. And, uh, you know, we've been speaking of, of hugs and whatnot. We've been actually been able to, I think, in every single, to be honest, in every single tournament that we've had, hugs and co have made it very, very far. And, of course, we've been doing uh, 4v4 S and Ds. He's been doing a lot of work. I've been noticing here on UMG Online. I mean, he's been doing some work, not just on PS4, but Xbox One as well. I think him and Aquanic might have taken a, like a 2v2 or a 3v3 uh, Xbox One tournament uh, recently. I mean, he's been doing damage in this ghost title. So I'm really curious to see what he can do when it comes down to, uh, to BOTG as well. As he, uh, just speaking of the name, shuts down Rambi two on four. And it looks like Snipes continuing to come out. This guy gets, well, handled. And now Courage left in a one on four. But kind of speaking along the, along the lines of uh, the Golden Blood, te Golden Blood team, I'm not exactly sure where the name Gold Blood comes from. Uh, regardless, though, it's a solid name. You can see Jack just kind of having a little bit of an issue right now. Just so many, so many line sights. There's, there's just, it's such a difficult position to get out of. And yeah, he's gonna get in the end picked off there from Torque. Because Torque currently sitting at six and one. Unfortunately, there for Courage, kind of holding a line sight inside that closet. I'm not sure if he spotted that one player who was just toward that right side of uh, bottom pond, just underneath that jelly sign. But. Um, Either way, he was dead to rights most likely in any situation. Just really an awkward spot to be in, especially when you're in a one-on-four. Don't expect to uh, to see anyone clutch that out, let alone when you are in a a corridor where everyone, every entry point, every exit point as well is being watched. And uh, speak of Jack, he is making a very aggressive rush right now over here toward B. Of course, isn't actually on the offensive team. It's not normal that you see a defensive player rush up this aggressive, but... Regardless, he has done that, and there's two players on him right now, and I think that maybe a Thermal could have spotted him. That are just could have been the close quarters that gave his position away. Regardless, he drops as well as Rambi. This guy just misses that snipe. That's one that you have to hit in situations like, really like that. And there's one player kind of holding this close angle. Firing away with those that vector and they're not gonna find anything. They seek out this player, and it looks like that's what they're gonna have to do because why well, he's the last player alive. Skies ends up dropping hugs, finishes him off, and it looks like just sitting outside of broken. Equip will find one for his troubles. Here comes Equip trying to do some damage, but no, he will drop in the end. No bomb plant needed. Informal finishing it off yet again. Matthew Piper doing some damage. Doing a lot of damage. He's currently sitting at four and two overall, four and one in the map currently. And this one isn't necessarily looking over with. It's just the fact that it's almost like for the side of Uncle Jack, you can't get a number. Like, you really can't get a consistency out of them. It's it's Rambi in game one right now. It's Skies in in game two. And formal sniping battle going down. He will win that one versus Equip. 
player just toward his left on that B bomb site. We'll pick him off for the ladder. Rambi is heading outside the strip. Not going to see anyone as it currently stands. Aquanic in a one on three spot. Not sure if he's going to get that opportunity again. No, he will not. Rambi quick to shut him down. Sitting inside of just top pond. Not an easy position to get out of. Especially when you miss a snipe like that. And Rambi is there for the cleanup. So similar things to what we saw. And map number one, an early gained lead from the side of Golden Blood. You start to see guys like Torque pick, pick it up. You know, you're seeing Hugs, Formal being involved in that kill feed. And then uh, the side of Uncle Jack starts to, you know, rally some, some rounds away. But it looks like an interesting strategy coming in from the side of Golden Blood. Throw out that smoke as a bait. And it looks like that one's not going to be red. Skies quickly shuts down Torque. So they at least know that one player rushed this way. And looks like a little bit of a delayed one as it looks like kill starting to go down potentially on this side. Aquanic with the interesting reticle. Regardless, is able to shut down Rambi. So, interesting bait. Does work out. Aquanic spots one through that Hummer. And now he's going to go for the rush and shuts down Equip as well. Beautiful kill there coming in from Aquanic. As it will just now be Uncle Jack. Left all alone. His nephews have left him. Situation. He's turned out of this one. That A side is a lot easier to retake. But you can obviously see the current position for both of these players on defense. Oh, jumps and spots. Going to be missed there from Jack, but regardless, he just parkour his way up to. Not broken. Grid jumping down. And this is just not looking likely. He can't spot anyone right now. As this round will go in favor of the side of Gold Blood. Golden Blood. As they'll check the site. Not going to spot anyone there. And Jack might actually not find anyone at all. So uh, looks like position found. No kills will come of it. And that will now be five rounds to two. It is the side of Golden Blood up. One more, one more round, really, to close out the entire series as they will now be on not just map point, but series point as well. And we'll see what the offensive team can do. Courage, throwing out that smoke as a signal toward A. Whenever you do see that smoke, it obviously makes you think, well, something's going on over there. So that obviously baits out the defensive team, making actually making them think that a push is happening. And just like that, a knife to the heart of Jack. But just before that, Twerk finds one as well on Rambi. Aquanic shuts down Equip, and now it's all up to Skies. One on three. The Skies drops. This would be the series in the books. Spots one, position earned. Line sight gained. As they know his position in bottom strip right now, and he could escape out of this one, so at least finds one with the snipe, but there's a player just toward his top left. Does he spot him? Yes, he does! Beautiful play there from Skies, and now there's a player just toward the top that is Twerk. Twerk making potential that... Skies could have exited that building, and in fact he does, but it's the opposite side that Skies exits from. And I believe that Twerk might have just spotted him, and it looks like he's going to see him at top. And Twerk just needs to stay alive. There's no reason to rush this. There's no reason to try and play this one out, but he is trying to delay the time, and now Skies realizes, I don't have a whole lot of time before I have to get this bomb down. I'm going to rush potentially out. Can Skies get the line side? Is the question just peeking around? Can he spot him just toward his right? But yes, he does. Can he, is he going to have time to get this bomb down? He's barely going to have enough time to get the bomb down. Spots to work from afar. So he realizes the plant can go down. And he will do it successfully. Very, very well played so far from Skies. Rounding the corner and Twerks. Patience could pay off. He's not spot him rotating around here toward B and just... Toward his right is Skies, and Skies, I believe, does spot him. Has that pistol out. Trying to use that trigger discipline to his advantage. Comes around the corner. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, no! Twerk! Twerk! Oh, I've seen that play be happen before. Nade shot, Karma, anyone? No? Skies is playing that so well. That's such a frustrating round to watch because Skies played that. Literally perfectly. 
plays it well, kind of wraps back around, does exactly what he needs to. This would have been for the one-on-three clutch to at least bring them around back in this game. And then he comes around the corner and he plays it well. He doesn't even shoot. He gets the decent line sight. Uh, Torque doesn't even see him. He comes around the corner, has the pistol out, and even uses correct trigger discipline. Like, he does everything right. I don't even want to blame Torque for that situation. Or I don't even want to blame Skies for that situation. That, that hurts to watch. I'm not going to lie. That, that's unfortunate. Regardless, you got to be thinking in the back of your minds that it most likely would have been a, a map, regardless of that particular round, that would have gone toward the side of Golden Blood. But in the end, yeah, Skies just uh, has an unfortunate situation. Had a little bit of a rough series in, in the entire scheme of things. You look at map number one, struggled to kind of get some kills underway. Granted, he does absolutely destroy in map number two with nine and six, but the only people, really the only kill that people are going to remember is the one that he couldn't get at the end. But of course, right, we're getting ready to head to a commercial break. Want to give a quick shout to our sponsors as we get ready to hop in toward another match for this evening. I um, want to give a shout to Origin PC, Acquire Clothing, Scuff Gaming, and Zowie, a brand by Ben Q. Major thank you to their support on making streams like this one happen. And also, if you guys are interested, we're doing a giveaway for the month of September. And if you guys are interested, feel free to put in the chat exclamation point giveaway where you guys can earn a number of different prizes. Things like a UMG Scuff. We've got two copies of World War II to be given away. We've got UMG Prime as well as UMG Credit. So make sure to put those exclamation point giveaways in the chat. Anybody can win, except for me. I've been told by producers like, I'm not allowed to win. Yeah, I still, I still can't win. Uh, but if you guys are interested, feel free to obviously enter into that. Click the link and you'll be able to find all the information there. So guys, we're going to try to find another match to get on board with. Feel free, if you guys do have any recommendations, to put those in the chat as well. As we'll get ready to hop into our next match. We'll be right back. <laughs> 